Okay, just got a call from the dealer. My stock TSX clutch and seals are in. So I'm gonna pick up my OEM parts. This video, I'm gonna install my TSX flywheel along with the clutch disc, pressure plate, and pilot bushing. Then torque them down the specs for my K24 swap. Nice in the sense. Got my parts. Picking up the OEM parts. Um, I know this is a budget build, but you know, I just don't want to play around and go with the cheaper stuff and uh, and just end up with problems down the road. Uh, this would be the safest bet. Um, I know it costs a little more, but I won't have any issues down the road. Um, just to show you, like for example, this clutch disc. Even says Honda on it. While well, I'm in here, I'll just show you guys this nice RL X. Nice R RLX in the showroom. To the left will be the TSX flywheel, which is a step down flywheel which I had to get for my OEM clutch to work correctly and I made sure that I had it resurfaced. Here I recommend replacing the crank oil seal with an OEM part. They're only around $11. I will put the part number in the description box below. I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna clean the inside of this crank where the pilot bearing goes. Um, it looks already clean but I just wanna Double check to make sure it's clean. For this job, we're going to need the pilot bearing, pilot bushing, the part number for the pilot bushing, and we're going to need Honda Urea grease, if I pronounced that correctly. So here I want to lightly grease the outside of this pilot bushing. To install the pilot bushing, I got my source from instructables.com. It says find a bearing seal driver that fits the pilot bushing tightly. Lightly lubricate the outside of the bushing. Hold the driver perfectly straight. You must hold it perpendicular to the crankshaft flange or you will damage it. Tap the bushing in. The bushing should be pushed in about four millimeters past the stout. Clean out any crumbs and inspect the bushing. If you damage it, pull it out and replace it now. They're only a few dollars and it's not worth the risk. If you damage the bushing, it will bind up on the input shaft and the transmission won't shift properly. You'll trash the input shaft. So I want to lightly grease the inside of this pilot bushing. I will post the link for the website in the description box below. Here I'm going to want to clean out any rust on the surface. So I use a wire brush to clean it off. Then I'll use a little scotch brite to go over it. Just, just lightly.
With the flywheel bolts, I'm gonna use some thread lock on each of these bolts before I install them. So when I apply this thread locker, I just want maybe to feel, I don't know, let's say about a quarter, a little bit less than a quarter on the tip of the flywheel bolts. Notice here, I will go from the top to the bottom and then what I want to do is I want to do a crisscross pattern. That might be a little bit too much. So I'll share it with another bolt. Okay, so here I'm gonna to torque it down to 91 foot, 91 foot pounds of torque. So when I torque down these bolts, I wanna do it in a crisscross pattern. And after I finish all eight bolts, I wanna double check and do it, do it twice. And you're probably wondering what I'm using to hold the crank so it doesn't move. Clean any grease off of that. And I will have to re-grease this bearing. You don't want to get any in there. With the disc, you want to make sure this part sticks out and the flat part is up against the flywheel. Okay. So here we have the TSX OEM Honda pressure pressure plate.
So what we want to do here is, is to clean off. Okay, for the flywheel, for the pressure plate bolts, I really recommend not putting too much. Okay, last thing I wanna do is I just wanna double check. this one. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button. Comment below and share this video.